years around the Philippines for this tropical de depression Marse. So we have a new daily weather forecast to be issued today, 5 a.m. November 25, 2016, the only one month before Christmas is now going on and now the count now to Christmas is now lessened and, and across the globe and we have a special announcement about because of the tropical depression. So tropical depression, um, Mars has been upgraded to tropical storm according to Pagasa. So before we go, the, the daily weather forecast issued by Pagasa this morning. 4 a.m. The center of the tropical depression was estimated based on all available data at Mactan Doppler radar, 60 kilometers west of Baybay Leyte, with a maximum sustained winds of 55 kilometers near the center and a gustiness up to 50, up to 95 kilometers per hour. This forecast to move west northwest at a speed of 19 kilometers per hour. So the latest satellite image showing that the, the circulation has reached over the north over the southern Luzon and central Luzon while the burst of the northeast monsoon is now uh, experiencing here at northern Luzon this is the predicted scene mean streamline analysis the circulation is you cannot see the circulation but the circulation is now going here near the Leyte province so the Leyte could experience a uh, uh, moderate to, have te to heavy rains and with gusty winds so the gusty winds may experience 95 kilometers per hour so be safe okay so then we have a stormy weather will be experienced with rough to very rough seas over the areas of Visayas Rom Mindoro Romlon Northern Palawan Musbate the islands of Cuyo Calamian Tikau and Lubang cloudy skies with a moderate to occasionally heavy rains and thunderstorm which may trigger flash floods and landslide over the areas of Bicol region, province of Marinduque, and Quezon. Cloudy skies with light to moderate rains is now expecting here at Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon. Party cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms will prevail over Mindanao. Okay, so this is the uh, daily weather forecast issued by Pagasa. We have a um, rainy day this week, this day until Saturday. So be ready to bring your umbrella and raincoat every time you're outside especially for the schools so welcome to the latest severe weather with the number 13 for the tropical storm Marse so Marse has intensified into a tropical storm and is moved towards Panay Island estimated rainfall amount is still at the 300 kilometer diameter of the tropical storm so residents, all the areas of residents under signal number one is now alerted to because of flash flood and landslide. So not all, not also the Visayas gale warning, but also the sea travel is risky also at the northern seaboard of northern zone. Expected to exit par is now uh, only in Sunday. So it's uh, so. Um, Let's latest, uh, latest pag asset track for the tropical storm Marse. Then you can see the tropical storm Marse has the uh, absolute great at uh, pag as upgraded their uh, classification. So the tropical, uh, tropical storm Marse is now near areas of uh, Cebu and ex expected to cross areas of Masbate near the areas of Poswanga and before. West Philippine Sea and Sunday we're now going out and we'll exit the Philippine area of responsibility as a low pressure area the last day of November 29 2016 the latest satellite image while covering the the they said that all the all the country experienced a moderate to heavy rains in Visayas and also parts of Bicol region later the areas of Metro Manila at 4 a.m., the center of the tropical storm Marse was estimated based on available data, including Mactan and Iloilo Doppler radar, at 85 km east southeast of Roxanne City, Capiz. Maximum sustained winds is now gaining strength, is now intensification of 65 km near the center, and gas is up to 100 km per hour. So the forecast to move west northwest as slightly uh, faster than before is now moving 24 km so it will be exited far earlier than Monday so that would be a good news but 
is now stronging with 65 km and the gustiness of 100 so be be ready for this gust so now we have upgraded to the tropical cyclone warning signal tropical cyclone warning signal number two is now experiencing with a with a range of 61 to 120 kilometers is expected in at least 24 hours in luzon romblon calamian group of islands southern occidental mindoro and southern oriental mindoro in visayas nor northern negros occidental iloilo capis aklan and northern aptike for class suspension this area Class suspension in these areas are for preschool, elementary, and high school. Automatically suspension to those areas. And we have a storm surge possible on the coastal areas. Number one, signal number one, 30 to 60 kilometers expected within the 36 hours. Northern Palawan, including Cuyo Island, rest of Oriental Mindoro, rest of Occidental Mindoro, including Lubang Island, Masbate, including Burias and Tikau Island in Luzon, in Visayas, Piliran, Samar, Northern Samar, Eastern Samar, Leyte, Southern Leyte, Bohol, Cebu, including Bantayan and Camotas Island, Negros Oriental, rest of Negros, Occidental, and Guimaras. Be ready to this area to experience uh, moderate to heavy rains with gusty winds. So, um, I hope you uh, be repaired for the area now. We have upgraded to signal number two. So, these areas in class suspension is suspended in preschool. So this is the latest satellite image by Himawari 8 West Pacific of NOAA. You can see the moving animation of the clouds and the, the circulation of tropical marshes now nearing here at Iloilo City and Masabate. Be prepared to uh, experience a uh, slightly light to strong um, winds. So let's see the latest uh, current tropical storm information for tropical tidbits according to the, the update of the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and the Japan Meteorological Agency. So we now classify that 20, 29W or 29 calling themselves according to JTWC. The location is near the areas of um, Iloilo and the maximum sustained winds of 35 knots and the minimum central uh, pressure is 995. 999. So this is the satellite image of the Joint Typhoon Warning Center to be viewed here at Google Earth. So let's view. So the tropical cyclone, a uh, tropical storm is now here near the areas of Kabuyan Islands. Will cross over the Iloilo area, Rock Rojas, and as 40 knots. Here at uh, Masbate area, Otemplo Island, Masbate of San Jose, and we'll be cross, uh, we'll be going out, or we uh, will, we'll go to West Philippine Sea, and we'll be north, northward direction, and before uh, continue to dissipate at November 28, 2016. So this is the anime. Uh, this is the. Google map for Joint Typhoon Warning Center Bulletin for Tropical Cyclone Marse. So this is a so other uh, other numerical models saying that they are same. They are now the same uh, output, and now this will be the same output as like like unlike the weather bulletin for Pagasa. But now. There are, not, there are no uh, invest now. We don't have any low pressure area near our Philippine area of responsibility. And I hope this is the latest. I hope you enjoy the, the day. And be safe for all the areas near Visayas. And today we will experience light to moderate rains here in Metro Manila. And this is the latest uh, update for Typhoon Watch. And I hope you enjoy this day. God bless us all.